Hi guys, Adam here. I'm with Andy. We're outside Old Trafford, nil-nil with Hull City. Andy, what the hell has just happened? Players are taking it too easy tonight. We, pre we got presented a chance to close the gap again, just like Stoke. Very slack, very very poor. Um, the midfield, he, he cares more about his image at the moment. That's that's my personal opinion. With his dancing and his haircut, and uh, it was no urgency today from any of them. I can't praise any of them today. There was nothing there at all. Even when Rooney come on, there was nothing there. And what did he do? He moaned and got, gets booked. The referee played a part. All, they're still going down, but that's their cup final. They've just like, why, why didn't they play like that last week? They did beat us last week, Andy. They're, we've we've scored three goals against a whole city side in three games. Is that not epitomising our season to you? That we're just not taking our chances? Fulham stuffed them 4-1 and they missed two penalties on Saturday. That says it all about all. But we, we, I think the top four's going now with City winning tonight as well. We're going to have to put all our eggs in the basket now. I'm going to have to go for the Europa League. I'm not a fan of it, but... Well, should we be relying on that, Andy? Well, if you don't win and get it, if you're not scoring goals, you're not winning games. We've had chances after chances now in the last few weeks. We didn't beat Liverpool. We've not beaten Stoke. We've not won today. That's chances gone. And now they'll, they'll say the gap's going to be even more on so Saturday. Do you think it's a case of we need to give the time to everything settle? Or is there just genuinely something wrong? Today I was so frustrated with Zlatan Ibrahimovic's performance. He spent half the time on the halfway line than he did in the box. Like, what is going on with the performance of the, the players, the substitutions? I'm not sure if Jones was injured, but Jones comes off, Smalling comes on. And then the other two substitutions, Mata on and, and Rooney on for Carrick. We didn't really change much. No, we didn't change at all. I mean, I was hoping uh, Martial would have come on because he, he proved his worth last couple of games with his assists and his attacking pace. And there was just nothing there tonight. They made bit they expected to win. They were, they were just in first gear. They didn't, to me, they didn't get out first gear tonight. They didn't get into second gear. There was nothing there tonight. And it's just so frustrating with this team. You know the ability's there and the ability wasn't proven there today. None of them give anything today. After that defeat against Hull last week, should we not have been expecting a difficult performance against Hull? That, that performance against Hull was really shod there. Really shod there. And uh, we got out of jail really did and it should have been a wake-up call i mean sunday we, we brushed past wigan fairly fairly easy the momentum but th th we're gonna have to be a cup side this season the top four's getting really really unrealistic and it it's the chances are there you don't take your chances you're not gonna get there we are still five points from second spot <laughs> if we won today it would have been free i'm a i'm a clutching sh at straws here I don't know, it's after the game, innit? Everyone's frustrated, everyone's upset. I know, I can see Jose getting anim animated with the referee. He didn't do himself any favours. I know, I know we were poor today, but that referee, every single referee, I don't even know which referee was there today, whether he's been here before, but every single referee that comes here, he's sh The referees now, they don't have a fear of this place anymore because uh, we're in a new era. But it's not about fear, it's about simple referee. It's the, 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 how many how many times has he rung today? Zlatan goes down, either book him for diving or you give a penalty. He doesn't give either. Referees, innit? it? They, they're not being guided by the FA or the Football Association or the referees higher up. There's no good referees. I mean, Klattenberg's supposed to be the best and he's not. And he's had some shockers here. I remember against Burnley. You know what I mean? Some referees have a little bit of an ego. They think they want to be the centre of attention now. And that's the way it is. Can we blame the ref today, though? No. no. Because you got you don't put a ball in there, you don't take your chances. You gotta win. You don't win, that's it. End of story. Top four gone or is still still alive? <sighs> I'm going 50 50. It's gonna be the same four points, 15 games. Look at our running now. We have to our last five games, we got Bournemouth, Crystal Palace, Spurs Arsenal, Spurs Arsenal and we we'll, and we and you throw the mix off with a city game. That if we can get into a position where we can drop points in some of them games now, we have to go on a winning run again now. We just draw, 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 then we, we won six on the spin, didn't we? And we draw again. We have to go on another winning run now. And if come them games, we're in a good position. We can be a bit more relaxed and not all hyped up and getting wound up and getting upset. The players will be a bit more relaxed and even the fans will, but we, we just got to start putting the ball in the net. That's it. Andy, some people will say, like myself, if you can't beat Hull, you don't deserve top four. 
That's true. It's true. If you don't be, you don't be what's in front of you. Look at us last season. Like, we just pass, 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 wasn't it? We didn't score enough goals. We lost out on goal difference, but it's it's scoring. In Jose, he's mentioned it. You don't score, you don't win. Now, RT, I, you can you can tell with the fans. You see it on the pitch. The summit there. Summit is coming up now. Summit is going to be. Summit is growing, and it's going to be nice. Even the fans are singing that new song. We're into summit good. But it's it's just going to take time, and it's just so frustrating at the end of the game. Patience. It is patience. Patience is a virtue. But the players need to go, get on that pitch from the first minute to the last minute, and give everything now between now and the end of the season. Or otherwise, it might, it's going to be an open league again for us this year, next season. Cheers, Andy.